what's up guys? Good morning. So for today's video, I'm going to be conducting an experiment on efficiency. If it's better for an electric vehicle, such as my 2019 Chevrolet Bolt, to drive at a certain speed using cruise control versus not cruise control. So we'll see how this turns out. So just to make sure that everything as is controlled as possible for this experiment, this is how things are going to happen. Right now, it is roughly about 50 degrees here in the Cleveland area. I'm going to be traveling down to south of Mansfield, Ohio, which is roughly about 90 miles to brand new ChargePoint DC fast chargers. Going down, I will make sure that I keep the car on cruise control somewhere between 65 to 70 miles per hour. I'll also keep the interior climate control setting at 70 degrees, uh, just so it's comfortable in the car with the windows rolled up. Um, today's weather, they are expecting gusts of 25 miles per hour. Uh, so I guess we'll see how that impacts the range and so forth going down. And now coming back up, I will maintain the speed at the same without using cruise control with all the same uh, conditions set prior to what it was like when the cruise control was on. So I wanted to make sure that this was as controlled as possible. So we'll see what it's like based on efficiency for the Bolt if cruise control is actually better to drive at highway speed. We are about to start the test. I am about half a mile away from uh, getting on 480 East or West, I apologize, 480 West. Um, and uh, I will set the cruise control to about 65 um, and adjust it accordingly based on the speed limit. Uh, we'll be taking 71 South pretty much straight through to where we're heading. Um, and hopefully you guys can hear this audio. I'm recording it off the GoPro. First time I'm doing this while driving. So uh, hopefully it's not too loud. Um, but I'm pretty excited about doing this test. I've been wanting to do this for a long time. <laughs> so I thought today might be a good day to do it. And I'm excited to see how the Bolt handles. So, exit right to I 480 West. Thank you, Waits. Appreciate it. Uh, we're going to take a right and we're about to get on the highway. I'm switching the car into drive and we're going to get on. I won't punch it too hard, even though I really like to because it's fun to do so. Um, okay, we're at 50 miles per hour, almost 60. Gotta check when it's coming. Okay, now we are 64. And I will merge. And the one thing that you'll notice about Cleveland drivers is that they're kind of rude. They uh, definitely do not like to let you over. <laughs> okay, so let's see. We are at 65 and we are setting it and we are good to go. So I guess we'll see how this goes. Probably was a good idea to look away from the road. <laughs> so one thing I wanted to point out really quickly, and it might be hard to see with the GoPro being over there, is that in the uh, cluster in front of me, the, in the digital cluster, there is a bar where my range is right over on this side that goes up and down based on your efficiency. And it kind of gives you an estimation of how much range you'll have based on your current driving style. And uh, one thing I wanted to point out, I'm about 10 miles into this drive so far with cruise control set to 65 miles per hour. And it is showing low uh, efficiency. It's definitely dipping more on the lower end. Um, so I will have to see if that plays out when it comes to driving without cruise control, but I had a feeling that that's what was going to happen. Um, so if we continue with this driving style, instead of 186 miles of estimated range, we'll be looking at roughly 152 miles. Um, so I guess we'll see, um, see exactly what happens, but I just wanted to point that out really quickly. Okay, so I just wanted to put this out there. The speed limit has now switched to 70 miles per hour, so I'm going to set the cruise control to 70 uh, and uh, see how this does. So far the efficiency has not been very good uh, with cruise control on. Um, the estimator over here is really low. Um, and uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't know if it's because we're driving directly into wind 
or what is exactly happening, but right now we are averaging 3.1 miles per kilowatt, um, which is something that I honestly average in the winter time. And like I mentioned, I know it's 50 degrees here right now, uh, but I was hoping for something a little better. Um, so I guess we'll see what it's like driving back without cruise control, but I think my theory is confirmed so far that cruise control is not as efficient for an electric vehicle. Um, but that is something that we still have to prove. We have 63 miles left until we get to our destination. Um, so I guess we will see what happens. About 10 miles out from where I'm going, which is in Belleville, Ohio, which is about 10 minutes south of Mansfield. Um, we are averaging still 3.1 miles per kilowatt and the efficiency estimator is still dipping low to a minimum of 81 miles. So um, the one thing that I ran into on this trip is truck drivers, so that's creating a lot of um, impact on my aerodynamics, heavy winds um, or high winds, um, and honestly that's it, I've kept it at the same climate and so forth. So it seems to be pretty consistent that if you're averaging about 70 miles per hour in the bolts, you're gonna average about 3.1 miles per kilowatt um, so uh, when we get to the charger I'll plug in and uh, I'll do a uh, quick update of what it's like charging at these char charge point chargers so we are now officially getting off uh, the highway so I'm going to take it out of cruise control switch it back into low gear so we can recoup some of this energy exit right to exit 165 state route 97 Lexington. Sorry for the navigation. <laughs> I've never been to these chargers before, so I guess we'll see um, where they're located. They're about half a mile off the highway, which is not bad, honestly. Um, they're located in a Dunkin' Donuts parking lot, and they're brand new, uh, and they're free right now. Um, so I'm pretty excited to use these. But right now, uh, with cruise control set to 70, we kind of average between 70 to, or 65 to 70. We're still getting 3.1 miles per kilowatt, uh, which seems to be pretty average. So I guess that's, that, that's what we're looking at um, with cruise control. So I'm curious to see what it's gonna be like when we uh, don't have it on. Um, I know for me, my biggest challenge that's gonna be with not having cruise control on is the fact that I, um, don't necessarily know if I'll be able to maintain a constant speed or a consistent speed, but I guess we'll find out. So it looks like we'll turn here. I don't see the chargers yet. Um, if I remember from the photos, they were somewhere around here, maybe? I don't really know, honestly. I guess we'll find out. I hope that this isn't like a one way. <laughs> I don't necessarily think it is. Oh, they're right there. That's actually perfect location. Uh, it looks like it's by a mini golf place, possibly. Um, and they're not being iced over. Um, so we'll plug in and uh, we will get a good charge going. Okay, so I apologize if the audio is off but we are using the GoPro to record this just because you need to use your cell phone to initiate these chargers. So I'll open my charge port app, which is nice because on the iPhone, you can kind of just hold up right there. Clicks, it's authorizing, and now it says to plug in. And they offer Chatamo and the CCS charger on these, uh, I believe these are the new style for charge point. So we'll bring it over here, open the charge port, open that up, plug this in. Okay, so it's saying it's in use. It's kind of hard to read that LED screen on the camera. Um, we'll come over here. And it says that it's waiting and it looks like it's charging. So what's really cool is that it looks like we got down here with 45% battery. Uh, we're gonna charge up to 80% and then hit the road again. So it's pretty nice using these chargers. There's two of them um, and it's actually right by a hotel which I believe is closed and attached to a gas station.
So I'm gonna start recording some more videos uh, while this is charging up. And one other thing I want to mention that we want to do is uh, check into PlugShare because it's always important for people to know that the charger is currently being in use. We're using the CCS and it looks like it's going to take about 45 minutes for this to be charged to 80%. Um, so I'll just leave it in an hour just in case. Um, let me actually turn on the vehicle, see how many kilowatts that we're using or pulling in. About 36, I'm gonna turn off the heat because that will actually, well, we'll leave the heat on because that actually preconditions the battery pack. Um, so we will put in here 36 kilowatts that we are pulling, submit it, and we're checked in. So this one's pretty highly rated. Uh, like I mentioned, it's in Belleville, Ohio. Um, highly recommend checking this out if you're in this area. Okay, so we are officially at 80% uh, charge. I'm going to reset the tripometer. It goes back up to 3.9. And I am now going to unplug my car. So a really cool thing about these chargers is that they are 100% free of use. I guess we have to stop the charging. Okay, <laughs> that's my bad. Pull that out. It's totally free, which is pretty cool. Plug that back in. We'll shut this. And yeah, come check these out sometime. Okay, so we are about to get back on the road. Going to turn this back up to three. And um, we will see how this goes. I'm hoping that maybe we can break my theory and that cruise control is not the best uh, for electric vehicles, but I guess we'll see. So one thing that I'm noticing immediately, we are about 13 miles into not using cruise control and I am averaging 3.7 miles per kilowatt. And that estimator that I mentioned before when we were using cruise control is actually now on the top portion of the estimation scale. So instead of being in the lower portion like it was for cruise control, it is now saying that we could hit over 177 miles versus with cruise control, it was saying about like 115. So um, it's the same drive, pretty much just coming straight back. Uh, we are going over some hills, uh, but not too bad. I'm still averaging about 25 to 40 kilowatts. Um, but one thing that I think I'm noticing is that it's not like a consistent number. It's kind of going up and down, which means that we're regening a little bit as the number of kilowatts goes down or decreases. So we're putting some energy back into the battery pack. Um, but I just thought that that was interesting, something that I'm just seeing. Um, but we still have 75 miles, so um, I'll check back in in about 30 to 40 miles. Okay, a quick update. We have driven 50 miles and I'm still averaging 3.6 miles per kilowatt, which is showing that without cruise control, we are driving more efficiently. Um, what's really interesting though, is that the estimator is now going to the lower portion. Um, I don't know if maybe I'm hitting more wind or if maybe the terrain is impacting that, um, but for the majority of these 50 miles, it was actually up near the max amount of range that I could see from my bolt. Um, so it's pretty interesting that it's saying that. Um, we still have about 39 miles left, so it's gonna be interesting to see how the rest of this plays out. But the one thing I'm thinking of is, I wonder if because of we're not in cruise control, we're actually regening a little bit. It shows up that we are sometimes, but the majority of the time we're actually kind of balancing out the kilowatts. Um, I am no longer seeing 26 to 40 kilowatts. I'm now seeing six to about 15 kilowatts. So obviously that's much more efficient driving, um, but I guess we'll see in about 43 minutes uh, what the final results are. Okay, so we are about a quarter of the way uh, home, about 19 miles left. Just wanted to give a quick update. Um, we have traveled 71.2 miles and we are up to 3.7 miles per kilowatt, uh, which is pretty impressive. I'm glad that it's going up. Um, I don't necessarily know if it's warmer out. Okay, so this is one thing that I actually just noticed that 
was kind of hard to control with the experiment with driving down there. It is now significantly warmer compared to this morning. I'm talking about like 14 degrees warmer. So things uh, exterior wise are probably why we're seeing better range without the cruise control. So it's gonna be very interesting to see if I could maybe do this test later in the year when it's a more consistent temperature. Um, but it also goes to show the fact that I believe that when you're not on cruise control, you're getting more regen because you're kind of, well, at least what I'm doing is feathering the accelerator to where when I pull off, it starts regening a little bit, which then brings in a little bit of more electricity to the battery pack um, versus cruise control, which leads to another question is when the car is in cruise control, is it regening at all? Uh, like when you're slowing down or like, you know, when it's adjusting the speed to maintain that consistent speed, is it pulling in any electricity? Um, so I'm going to have to do more research on that and uh, make another video later. Um, but we have, uh, like I mentioned, about 18 more miles uh, until we get home. So I will do another update then. So we are now getting off the highway. We drove 85 miles on the highway and averaged 3.7 miles per kilowatt. Uh, and the estimator is still saying about 84 miles left on a full charge, or I guess you could say 80% charge or how much state of charge is left in the battery, whatever you want to consider it. Um, but I am officially back in low, which means I'm getting more regen and I'm getting off the highway. Um, anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, I'm genuinely curious to know what your guys' thoughts are on this. Uh, and I'm excited to test more hypotheses um, based around efficiency, cruise control, and stuff like that. Um, and I kind of want to challenge other electric vehicle drivers. If you guys are driving an electric car, try to get out there and do the same test. You know, roughly 90 miles one way cruise control, 90 miles back without cruise control, and see what your numbers are. I would love to see how that differs based on different electric vehicles. Uh, obviously, uh, the Bolt is pretty efficient, but there's other more efficient EVs out there. So I'm curious to know what your numbers would be. Um, anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, I'm keeping my eyes on the road. And uh, if, if you haven't yet, please hit subscribe, like this video, share with your friends, and um, I'll definitely see you guys on the next video. Um, but once again, make sure you take care and be safe and make sure you make every single day electrifying. Take care, guys. Thank you.